If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please remember to hit that like button. Of course, subscribe for more FIFA 21 and eventually FIFA 22 content. If you want to get some coins to see you through Path to Glory, head on over to u7bystore.com. New link down below. Brand new website, but same old code. TVM gets you 5% off at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to a very sunny day, you can't see, but I, well, no, neither can I. Anyway, uh, Footy's Fan Vote, this is one that could actually get me to, oh, never mind, I need to write back. I was going to say, this is one that could potentially get me to actually want to play Quadrado, one of those players that used to play with in FIFA 13 and, and onwards with five-star skills, and it would bring back a little bit, like like Aidan McGeady, for example, just memories of, of using him, it's just seeing Kelvin's now in the game, but... Um, yeah, he's a right back. Uh, I should have read the um, what they were, but uh, I am going to go for Quadrado because he has got five star skills. He will link to my Ronaldo. Uh, we're going to kick things off with one 82 plus player pick, and we are going to get an 86 Ginter, who I apparently already own. So that's fun. How do I already own him? Like, where did he come from? Well, he's untradeable, so there's that. Uh, we'll do the other one in a bit, but I think, for some reason, not that I'm complaining, mind you, because it might actually get me... To, yeah, it's here. It might actually get me to play the game, but um, icon swaps again. Now, I don't know how many segments we're going to have. Uh, they're only there for 20 days, so we literally have until the end of August to, to be able to compete for these things by the looks of things. But um, everyone thought that the game was dead and buried. EA had other ideas. Honestly, content-wise, they are smashing it, and they have been doing that ever since Team of the Season finished. I wasn't a massive fan of Team of the Season. I've been very open about that. I think it was a very poor promo, but I think they had this in mind, and that's why it was a poor promo. It had been very difficult to make Team of the Season as good as it usually is, given the amount of content that they've pushed out since because it would have meant that team of the season would have still been as good as all this if not better and then these cards wouldn't have been as good and so on and so forth anyway we have an 81 plus rare players pack times 25 that is for one token go and get one token and you get yourself uh 25 or 81 plus times 25 and then the 83 times 25 is for two tokens the 84 times 20 it's a lot of players is for three tokens so for six tokens, you get yourself a lot of players. What's that, 70 players? And they're all going to be above 81, uh, some 83, some 84, and beyond. Kaka, and it's the moments, and that is for four tokens. Now, this is something that I really, like, I was hoping for when they they leaked, well, not, they didn't leak it, but when people saw the code that we were going to get another icon swaps. Uh, I was really hoping that EA were going to give us really top high-end cards for not that much effort. I say not that much effort. Four tokens can be effort. I've not looked at it yet. I don't know what it entails. But what I mean is, Kaká is a player that a lot of people will go after and, and want to pick up. And he's there for four tokens. Or you can go and get all these players that you can then put into other SBCs like the, the top footies cards. Or the icon SBC that's there and probably has been there for ages and is there for another six or seven days and will probably reset again next we have 92 plus icon moments player pick for five tokens eusebio but only the 89 but it is a chance to get a eusebio for six tokens so i suppose swings and roundabouts whether you want to play for six tokens in August, I, I you know up to you. How how much pl play are you going to get out of 89 Eusebio? You could open this for five tokens to get yourself a 92 plus Eusebio, whichever version, um, whatever, however. What what's the rating of the moments Eusebio? 94, is he? Don't know. I can't remember. Uh, 94 plus icon moments attacking or mid pack. So there's that. Doesn't seem like there's going to be that many actual like player choices. We've had two so far in eight tokens. For the eighth token, a 93 plus icon moments attacking player pick. And our final stretch, is it? Or maybe not. 97 Diego Maradona. You have a 95 Pele option. Uh, that's nine and ten. Now, 
most of us will have used Maradona at some point during this game because he is a very common loan. Not a bad player, don't get me wrong. I actually really enjoy him. I, I packed him as one of the in the icon packs ages ago, months and months and months and months and months ago. Really good player. But I just feel like he would be a little bit better in this game, let's be honest. He's going to be in the 94 plus prime all moments player pick for 11 tokens or a 95 plus icon moments pack. Now that is a pack, it's not a pick, but there aren't that many 95 plus icon moments, are there? Is, um, I'm trying to think of like bad ones. Yashin, not that I would consider that a bad one, but it is... You know, I think he's above 95, and I think maybe... Does Van Basten have a 95? I can't remember, but there aren't that many, like, bad ones, are there? Let's be honest. You're going to get a card that is going to be pretty desirable, and... Oh, there he is. Oh, there's some more. So a 94 plus prime or moments attacking player pick for 14 tokens. They've really gone all out here, haven't they? Maldini, this guy has been in code as an available player for ages. Many people thought we were going to get the SBC, but there he is as an option for 15 tokens. 94 plus icon moments player pick for 16 tokens. So what was that one down here? Uh, 95 plus icon moments pack for 12 tokens. So for an extra four, you can turn it into a player pick, but then you also include the other players uh, that are 94 and above. So it's up to you what you want to do there. And of course, Zinedine Zidane for 17 tokens. Is that the final thing? Yeah, because premium gold pack would not be a very good reward for 18 tokens. So 17 tokens is the top end. Now, no R9. A lot of people will be very unhappy about that. It's not the best version of Pele. I don't think it's the best version of Diego Maradona, but you have a lot of options here to go after a lot of things. Not the best version of Eusebio. Should it have been? Maybe not for six tokens, but on the other hand, why not? What's the harm in it at this stage of the game? Kaká, a lot of people will dismiss because, you know, he's not like one of the most desirable, but I do like him and I do like, I know, I know a lot of people would be happy to pick him up. So, you know, it's there. To be fair, not many people, including myself, would have expected to get another icon swap. So this is essentially something completely out of the blue, not something for nothing because you are going to have to work for it, but it is something a little, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, where, hello, how do you work towards these? Is it in milestones? Has to be, right? No, wait. Yeah, there it is. So it's all in milestones. So you've got 20 days and, well, 21 days essentially to uh, to get it done. Premier League, win four, finesse six, and assist 10, all with like Premier League players in your team. Uh, what mode is that in? Uh, one league, okay. And then the Serie A is exactly the same, but obviously with Serie A players. A few tweaks here or there. Again, it's one league. Uh, Bundesliga, exactly the same. And then we have this big, long-winded section here. So, win five squad battles matches on world class. Oh, dear God. Uh, so, squad battles, big part of this. Oh, just Can you be bothered to play squad battles in August? That's the problem I've got. Win five squad battles matches on minimum world class difficulty with eleven silver plays. I mean, it's not like I, I know for some people it's going to be difficult to do, but I'm not like not saying I'm amazing at the game or anything. But it's not difficult. It's just time. <laughs> That's what it comes down to, right? Um, another one you've got. Win five world class eleven UCL. Uh, th there are ways around this, of course. So, like you can kill two birds with one stone. So, for example, uh, win five squad battles matches world-class difficulty if you had 11 dutch league champions league cards for example which definitely possible just go and get a full ajax team and you can do both of those at the same time so that's how you save a little bit of time they have gone all out on the um on the squad battles though haven't they so this like this is one you could link with the silvers for example so um with an 11 italian players so if you can get 11 italian silvers you can knock that out and that out at exactly the same time. If you can then get 11 Dutch League UCL players, you can knock both of those out. So you only actually have to play 10 squad battles matches, assuming you can win all your games, of course, rather than 20. So you can halve your time doing that. 
Oh dear lord, if you want Zinedine Zidane, you're going to have to play Weekend League one last time, maybe two more times, win eight Weekend League matches, and then score in 15 separate rivals matches using first owned players. So that's where your SBC cards are going to come into play, or maybe go and open a pack right now. But um, yeah, there it is. Whew. Long winded. I'm guessing. Yeah, we didn't. I just checked out this. We didn't get anything else today. I'm guessing we didn't get any other SBC today. Not that we or I would rather expect it, but um, might as well check just on the off chance. And no, I don't think we did. But there's a lot to do there. I mean, you got a lot anyway in terms of SBCs. Oh, footy Serie A player pick is there. So that's new, I think. Pretty sure. Let's go check. Uh, 83 rated team. And you get a team of the se oh no you rather you are you required one team of the season but you are guaranteed to get um, a one of three earn one of three Serie A players from the team of the season yeah because it's a player pick uh, from team of the season festival of football path of glory or summer star squad so Ronaldo is an option there um, maybe worth doing for an 83 rated team actually not bad to be fair. And then, of course, you've got all those icon swaps to go after. And if you really want to get that done, but you've literally got nothing left in your club, you now have a way, I'm not saying you should do this, but you now have a way to go and get 81 plus 25 players, or 25 plus 81 plus players. Christ. English is difficult. But you've got options. I mean, it's not difficult to go and get one token. Go play five squad battles matches, and you get two tokens, actually, if you can do it all in one. So you can get... Uh, you can get 25, 83 plus players. If you only want to do the bare minimum, there is stuff here for you to go and, and get. And, you know, it's, it's it's pretty good, actually. I quite like it. It's a shame there's not more players in it. It's a shame the players aren't higher rated. You know, they really could have gone for it, given that it's August. But I don't mind. The fact that we've got it anyway is a bit of a miracle. And I'm quite surprised that we've uh, been given something to do this late in the, in the game. So I'm all right with it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's open the final player pick and end the video. Please give me Ronaldo. I mean, I'll take an 89 and Kunku. They're not bad, you know. They're not expensive at all. And I've now got something to go and offset that uh, that player pick for the Serie A, which I will include in tomorrow's video. But if you have enjoyed this video, uh, hit the like button. Let me know what you think of icon swaps in the comments. Subscribe to the channel for new, of course. And until the next time, goodbye.